Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! Let's go inside the Ghost Manor and take that magic guild test here. Got a few new enemies here. Most of them are uh, immune to status ailments, but well, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Okay, in the back there we got Rolling Imps. And when you see how its wheels are rolling there, that just means they're going to attack one character. If they're just kind of sitting there a little bit, though, they'll attack for more damage. So you want to watch out for that. Fortunately, they are susceptible to wind. So I'm going to use Squall on them. You're probably going to have to rely on your magic attacks quite a bit in this area. And let's see. The guy up front there is a Knuckle Duster. Uh, that guy always only attacks one character, and it's weak to fire. So that can take care of that guy. And just in case... Uh, Gene, go after the Knuckle Duster. Or Buster. Whatever. Dust Man? No. No, that's another game. Of oh, crap. Oh, well, at least I got two of them. Hey, the Knuckle Buster oh, might win. get hit. Hey, hey, all right. Still hit three targets anyway. Well, didn't deal that much damage, but... Oh, well. Lady Luck, be kind. Well, Hero will usually go f before most of the Knuckle du Duster... Knuckle Buster takes its turn. Okay, so anyway, yeah, let's just attack that guy. You can use another Anger Dice, why not? You may want to try to conserve your MP a bit in this area, because you're going to need a lot of it to deal with some enemies. They just ha have um, a lot of weaknesses to status or not status elements, magic. So that, that can be pretty useful. Let's see, there's one more new enemy. Only three in this area. And there she is. Remember the guy who was saying he had trouble with the flying girls? Well, these are them. Okay, so these, those ones in the back there called Susie Death. And they are weak to fire and sleep, oddly enough. So, I'm probably going to be taking advantage of that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use a boomerang on these ones. Now, with these, or, yeah, those two... Uh, when they're just floating around, it'll drain HP from one of your characters. But if it's holding its flutes there, that means it's going to drain MP from you. So you want to take them out pretty fast. So let's go with Anger Dice and hope Lady Luck is with me. And then I'll have Jean use Sleep Step, since they're susceptible to it. At the very least, I should be able to incapacitate them. If not simply outright kill them, but... Okay, well, we got one of them. That's okay. Yeah, they don't drain too much MP, so we should be good. Dodge this. One thing about uh, the sleep status, though, is that if you attack someone who is afflicted with sleep, then you can... You, you'll deal more damage to them because, well, how hard could it possibly be to hit someone who's asleep? <laughs> oh. But all right, well, that was easy enough. Uh, I don't know if Hero can make it, but well, I'll do the best I can. Yeah, we can just use physical attacks for the rest of it. But yeah, Knuckle Buster is the only guy who has, like, really high physical defense where you have to use uh, your magic. But if you want to conserve your MP, uh, you don't have to use it on the other enemies, but, well, uh, whatever works for you. Okay, I took care of all the enemies around here, so... Now let's pick up the treasure. By the way, with those Soothing Death girls floating around here, uh, one of the viewers wanted me to mention that you can actually win a really good piece of headgear from them, a cute ribbon. It has uh, really good stats, even ma a lot of magic defense, and it can probably last you through most of disc one. So if you want to go ahead and farm that, you can. I didn't get lucky enough to win one. I've heard it's, uh, according to my source, it's like a 1% drop, so something ridiculous like that. It might be worth it, but I think the game's reasonably easy enough to not have to spend time doing that, but if you want to do it, you can! Alright! Now, I've, uh, by the way, with my MP, I managed to save enough of it that I won't have to use Starlights on everyone, but I do want to give one to Hero, so that way because he's going to be using a lot of magic here. So let's do that. And let's rearrange my party formation. Let's see. Hero, 
go all the way back there. You go all the way to the back. Let's see. Where do I want? You go there. And let's see. Right about there. Yeah, that ought to do. And let's see. HP. We need healing. Okay. Um, yeah, I can just use you. As long as you got, like, about half of your MP left for Jean and Ronfire, you should be fine. But you definitely want to put Lucia up front. Oh, well, good for us. Looks like we uh, made it through the test. Oh, hey, what is that thing? <laughs> Looks like a giant mannequin. Something, I don't know. Well, maybe. Where did that thing come from? Have you ever seen something like that, Jean? I don't know. Well, Ruby, I want to get off, too. For boss time against the magic tester. Okay, so, first things first. You see the, his, the whatever that thing is, the key in the back of it, when it's spinning like that, it's just going to use a regular attack there. Now, since this is a magic tester, we got to use magic to beat it. So I'm going to use boomerang there. It's weak to uh, the elements there. Let's see, I could use Anger Dice if I want to, but I'm going to focus on healing for now. And Jean, she can't really do a whole lot, so I'm just going to use Moth Dance again. Gypsy magic! But yeah, if you uh, run out of MP for Jean, just start using your physical attacks, or you could have her do some healing while Ronfar is getting Saint Dodge Litany up this. on everyone. Hopefully, that thing will attack Lucia there. Good, good. Alright, go Lucia! By the way, some people were asking me, H.C. Bailey, are you ever going to get direct control over Lucia's commands? And, well, I don't want to spoil it, but let's just say her usefulness will increase. But really, for the most part, I don't worry about that too much. I think of her as like the monsters in uh, Lufia 2, where, yeah, you don't have have them contributing all the time, but, you know, I just think of it as a bonus. Ah, nuts. Okay, now you see when it's opening and closing its mouth like that? That means it's using that bubble attack, which can put you to sleep. So, unfortunately, Lucia's not going to be doing much there. I'll probably just have Ronfar heal her, because uh, the magic tester will probably just attack her again and get rid of the sleep status anyway. So I'm not going to go out of my way to try and cure that. Keep going with Boomerang. Let's see. So you could use Clean Litany if you really wanted to, but I'm just going to let her get woken up the old-fashioned way. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. No, I don't want you to do that. Oh, uh, what? Oh, okay, yeah. Get that going on Jean. I'm going to have Jean help out with some healing since uh, she's got nothing better to do, really. I'm not worried about the moth dance. I just want to get that HP regen up on everyone if I can. I wouldn't worry too much about Lu Lucia's HP as long as she stays above, like, 70 or so. You should be fine. Okay, that should wake her up. Good. Oh! Ouch. That hurt. Um, let's see. Okay, he's just gonna use a normal attack. So, okay, you go there. You... Let's get that on you. And since Jean's the fastest party member, I want her to use the items for healing. Gypsy power! And besides, eventually she's gonna run out of MP anyway. By which time, I'll have Saint Litany up on everyone, and then I won't need Jean to heal this. anymore. If you run out of herbs, you could use a healing nut. Maybe I should have done that here. Happy hour. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, it is indeed happy hour. Although this episode's not going to be an hour long, but you know what I mean, of course. Hmm. Let's see how much the regen gets her. Hmm. I think she'll be fine. I'll just have... Ron Farr to do some healing and have Jean join in on the fun there. Now that Lucia's awake, Lucia. Yeah, she can uh, 
but help out more in this boss fight and actually contribute. Dodge this. I don't think the boss will be able to kill her. Well, even if the boss got his turn before she did, but okay, well we're doing pretty good so far. Yeah, that's just physical damage. I'm not exceedingly worried about it. Fortunately, Lucia pretty much always goes last. Her speed stat must be really low. So, that's okay. Let's see. Yeah, let's just heal Lucia there. And keep going with Moth Dance. I think Moth Dance is pretty much the most efficient source of damage you can get from Jean there. But even then... I mean, yeah, you see, it's, well, it's 85 damage. It's not horrible. But I wouldn't waste a Starlight on her. Because really, most of your damage is going to come from Hero, Lucia, and... Heck, Ronfar might be able to out-damage her if he gets lucky enough with his uh, dice. Power. Hey, hey, all right! Get a good buff going for you so I don't have to heal you as much. Oh, that's why she did that. I was wondering why she didn't, like, get attacked or something. But, yeah, okay, so now we're in Phase 2. So, let's go Boomerang. Uh, yeah, I can go with Anger Dice, that's fine. And keep going with that, too. Yeah, the boss is also weak to fire, so that helps us out, too. So, let's see. Boomerang. Dodge this! Yeah, when you see the boss just standing there, it's going to uh, use an AoE on probably Lucia. But she's so far up front that no one else will actually take damage. So it's just a single targeting attack. It can still use the bubble attack too and put her to sleep when its like mouth is opening and closing. So you want to watch out for that. Yeah, it's going to use that. So. Hmm. Well, I'll just do the best I can. Um, yeah, we'll just go all out. She'll be fine, I think. Yeah, and besides, she she doesn't... I didn't want to jinx myself. I was about to say that that attack doesn't always put you to sleep. <laughs> but, no, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, Jean's out of MP, so I want her to start just using her physical attack. Fortunately, since... Her fan is a long-range weapon. Lady Luck Somehow. Yeah, she, she'll just stay in the back there. Don't use normal physical attacks for Hero or Ronfar. I suppose if you actually did run out of MP for Hero, you might want uh, Jean to use a Starlight on him again. But I don't think that should be necessary. We should be able to kill the guy before we get to that point. Okay, Lucia is still doing good there. Um, you know, why don't you use a verb on Lucia, just in case. Your physical deck's not going to do much to that guy anyway. Gypsy power! That's not gypsy power! But whatever works for you. Whatever gets you into the action. Lady Luck, be kind! Be kind, be kind, be kind! Not bad. Uh oh. That that could be really bad. Okay, um I'm gonna have to improvise now. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't expect Lucia to just fall back like that. Okay, uh let's see. Let's go attack and I'm gonna have Jean move up front so that way we don't all die. Right about there. Now when you see it. Uh, its mouth sparking like that, that means it's going to use an attack that'll hit like a line of characters. So you kind of want to spread out for this. If Lucia was still up front, that might not have been as much of a problem. But now, I don't really have that. So, Well, so much for my plan. At least we only got hit by two characters. Usually that's going to hit two or three characters almost no matter what you do. Although you could spread out your characters, like put one in each corner for the fight. But, anyway. Okay, so, let's go Boomerang. Um, we're doing okay on MP. By the way, when you see it's opening its mouth like that, that means it's going to uh, still use that bubble attack. I think, anyway. Yeah, there it is. 
yeah, Jing just put to sleep. I don't really care. She's not really uh, useful during this fight anyway. Jing gets more useful for boss fights later on, but not right now. When she gets more abilities and stuff as she levels up and stuff. Where are you going, Lucia? Why don't you just run away from the whole fight while you're at it? Well, this part of the fight would go enormously faster if Lucia was still in the front row, but no! She had to run away. You have that magic shield. Lady Luck, be kind. What are you so afraid of? And Lady Luck is not being kind to me. Oh, well. I'm not really worried about Jean. Okay, now I'm worried about Jean. Uh, let's see. Maybe I should have her use a healing nut on herself. Why don't you heal yourself up? And this way, if she dies again... Well, not again, but if she dies... Okay, she doesn't. But if she did, I wouldn't waste a healing nut. So... Okay, well, we're not doing too bad. This is the third and final phase of the fight, by the way, if I didn't specify before. But we're getting there. Happy hour. It's always happy hour for Ronfar, isn't it? It's Lagervasser time! No, no, that's another game. But you already have a magic shield. Well, whatever works for you. Whatever helps your uh, insecurities like that. Okay, um, yeah, why don't you just attack? You'll be fine. She's over 70 HP, so she'll be fine. Would have been funny if that was what killed the boss. <laughs> oh, well. Not my lucky day. Gotta use that Anger Dice more, Ronfar. But unfortunately, it keeps on using that damn AoE on us. So, oh well. <sighs> Again? Hmm. Well, last one. Um, do I use the Passion Fruit? <sighs> no, no, I'm not gonna. I think an herb will be enough. Barely, but it will be. Why don't you attack Lucia? Too bad I can't move her around manually, at the Dodge very least. This. But, oh well. Did I get him? Hey! Alright! Even though Frit Phase 3 didn't go perfectly, we got him anyway. Hooray! Kind of reminds me of uh, one of the final bosses in Mega Man 3. But, ooh, level. Ah, that's, uh, I think that's the one that attacks all enemies with wind. But, alright, levels for everyone. You idiots! You what do you totally mean? destroyed my mega magic tester! What, you can build robots too? I guess you did pass. Congratulations! You're a winner! My name is Lamina Alsa. You have now officially passed the entrance exam to the Magic Guild of Vane. <laughs> Did I surprise you? Uh, yeah. How did you build that thing anyway? Well, as we all know in JRPGs, skill with magic and technology are interchangeable. Absolutely. Well, yeah, you... Didn't you tell us that up front? Hey, hey, all right. You're the one in charge? What, what do you mean, charter members? How can you have a guild with only one person? Oh. Well, that's okay. Monsters drop money anyway. We get nice tips, at least. Yeah, we uh, kind of got to save the world and all that. Uh, well, I got plenty of money. 
Are you going to join our party if we do? I thought she did. Oh, maybe I was thinking about something else. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, right. we'll see you later. Oh, hey, hey, all right. More party members. But yeah, she's just essentially Mia from the first game. She has all the really good offensive magic. Unfortunately, her speed stat really, really sucks. So you can't even really use those zone attacks with her. I mean, you can, but the enemies would probably move out of the way by the time you actually get around to it. So, oh well. Ha ha. If only there were an item that would help Lamina's uh, speed stat later on in the game. Well, we'll see about that. What do you mean by that? Don't answer that, viewers. Hm. Well, Ron Fart knows how to make a lot of money. Well, sounds like a plan. I thought we were already done with that. Oh, well, anyway. Okay, so now we got Lamina in our party. So let's change up the party formation. Bring you guys back up front. Okay. Put you there. Let's see. I want Jean to stay down below. There. And Lamina, since she's a mage, I'm going to put her right... You know, yeah, right there. That'll be good. Now, also with Lamina there... In addition to her magic spells, she has fire and ice abilities. She has a, a buff there, and I don't think I ever use magic seal, but it's there. So you can use that for her. Also, one thing that's interesting about her weapons is that they are long-range weapons. You just, you use it like a normal attack, but she'll just shoot like fireballs or lightning or whatever elemental staff that you actually got for her. So that's pretty nice, unlike the first game. So, let's see, we got, uh, yeah, we don't need that shield. Okay, I thought she had something on her, but I, uh, didn't remember which one that was or if it was stronger than what we already had there. Okay, uh, let's see, I want to save there. But can we survive a trip through the rest of the mountain pass? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar 2! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!